Welcome to Electron Lime, and our new topic today, still on modern physics, but the topic is the Lyman series. And what the Lyman series is all about, it talks about the quantum jumps electrons make in the various orbits around the nucleus of an atom. Of course, we're looking at the simplest atom here, the Bohr atom or the hydrogen atom, a single proton in the center, and the various energy levels around it, representing the various orbits electrons can be in. Uh, this is the n equals 1 energy level, the innermost energy level, n equals 2, n equals 3, n equals 4, n equals 5, representative of the energy levels the electron can be in. And it turns out the electron can jump to higher energy levels and fall back down to lower energy levels. In order to do so, for example, if, it's, if an electron is existent in an inner, innermost energy level, and a photon comes along with the right precise amount of energy that represents a difference in the energy between these orbits, the electron can absorb that energy, use it to jump up to the next orbit. Only, of course, if the energy is exactly equal to the energy difference between these orbits. And likewise, when an, when an electron is in a higher energy orbit, it can fall back down to lower energy orbit, it can fall all the way down to the first energy level or, to the, or in increments, in any combination, but every time it does so, it'll emit a photon representing the exact amount of energy difference between those, those energy levels. All right, so using our equation for the uh, calculating the energy level for any, any level, we're going to figure out what the energy levels are for n equals one through n equals five. So for n equals one, that's simply equal to minus 13.6 electron volts. For energy level 2, that's equal to 1 over 2 squared times the minus 13.6 electron volts, and that would be equal to minus 3.4 electron volts. For n equals 3, uh, that's equal to 1 over 3 squared, or 1 over 9 times minus 13.6 electron volts. And if I remember right, that was equal to uh, minus 1.51 electron volts. And then for the fourth level, uh, 1 over 4 squared times a minus 13.6 electron volts. And that one I don't have quite memorized. So my handy calculator will help us with that one. 13.6 divided by 16 equals, there it is, minus 0 0.85 electron volts. And finally, the fifth level is equal to 1 over 5 squared times minus 13.6 electron volts. And that would be 13.6 uh, divided by 25. That gives us minus 0 0.544 electron volts. All right, now that we have those various energy levels and the energy thereof, we can calculate the difference in the energy between any two levels. For example, the energy difference, the delta E from 1 to 2 is equal to 13.6 minus 3.4, which would be 10.2 electron volts which means that if an electron jumps from the second level down to the first level, it will emit a photon of that exact amount of energy. If we calculate the energy level difference between, let's say, 1 and 3, that gives us 13.6 minus uh, 1.51. So 13.6 minus 1.51 equals, that would be 12.09 electron volts. And if we want to know the difference between 1 and 4, that's equal to 13.6 minus 0, uh, let's see here, 0 0.85. <clears throat> that would be equal to uh, 12.75 electron volts. And finally, if we do the difference between 1 and 5, that would be 13.6 minus uh, 0 0.544. Uh, that would be 13.056 electron volts. All right, so that's the difference between those various levels. Now, let's calculate the wavelength of the photon in each case when it jumps from the second down to the first, from the third down to the first, from the fourth down to the first, and from the fifth down to the first. How do we find the wavelength of those electrons? Well, going back to the equation that the energy of an electron is equal to h times the frequency, which is equal to h times c over lambda, then we can from here calculate that lambda is equal to h c divided by the energy. All right, so if we then go look at the energy difference between the first and second level, we can then calculate the wavelength of the photon that will be emitted based upon that energy difference. Okay, so we have lambda from one to two is equal to h, 6.626, times 10 to the minus 34, that's joules times seconds. Multiply times C, 3 times 10 to the 8, 
meters per second and then divide by the energy difference which we said was 10.2 electron volts now 10.2 electron volts that's not a standard unit for energy we have to convert that to joules so one joule versus one electron volt actually it shouldn't be one joule it's 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules per one electron volt and that will give us the wavelength so let's figure it out times 3 e to the 8 divided by 10.2 and divided by 1.6 e to the 19 minus and I get a wavelength onto 2 equal to 121.8 nanometers or 10 to the minus 9 meters so of course 10 to the minus 9 meters for a nanometer all right that tells us when a photon, when an electron jumps from the second level down to the first level, it will emit a photon of that exact energy difference, which means the photon wavelength has to be 121.8 nanometers. Now, what is that? What kind of photon is that? Well, since visible light goes from 400 to 700 nanometers, that smaller invisible light that looks like it's a UV ray, so UV photon escapes from that particular jump. We can now do the other jumps, and of course, these jumps here in group are known as the Lyman series of jumps. So when, they, when you hear the word Lyman series of jumps, they're talking about the jumps in a hydrogen atom from a higher orbit all the way down to the first orbit. And well, as we'll see soon enough, that all those wavelengths will be so short that they fall into UV radiation. So from the Lyman series, we get UV radiation emitted from electrons jumping down to the innermost orbit. So let's check some of the other ones. So for lambda 1 to 2, that's equal to uh, the same thing it would be 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds times 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Divide that by now the energy difference would be 12.09 electron volts going from the first to the third orbit or from the third to the first orbit. And uh, hmm, I should have said 3 here. Okay, so that's not a different problem. Okay, so divide by 12.09 electron volts. And then, of course, the conversion of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 electron volts. I mean, joules, not electron volts, but joules per electron volt. And what do we get here? So that's uh, times 10.2 divided by 12.09. And that gives us 102.8. 102.8 electron volts that's going from orbit 1 to orbit 3 and then for the last few from orbit 1 to orbit 4 lambda 1 to 4 so then instead of putting 12.09 electron volts in there we're going to put 12.75 so times 12.09 uh, divided by 12.75 and I get 97.4 nanometers. Oh, and I keep messing up here. We're talking about nanometers, wavelength, not volts. So this is 97.4 nanometers. And finally, the jump from one to five. So instead, now we're gonna plug in 13.05 and 76. So times 12.75 divided by 13.056 equals, that would be 95.2 nanometers. So as you can see, any time an electron jumps from a higher and higher and higher orbit all the way down to the first orbit, the energy difference is greater, therefore the energy emitted is greater, and therefore the wavelength of the photon becomes smaller, but all of those fall within the UV radiation band. So that's called the Lyman series of jumps.